Hey guys! The 2019 finals of Miss Universe will take place on December 8th at the Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. Are you excited to watch the show? If you are, good for you. I wish I could say the same, but right now I am still upset by the fact that all tickets were sold out in less than three minutes after they went public last Friday. I was so mad that I fired off an email to MEO President Paul Sugart expressing my disappointment. And lo and behold, she replied, stating that MUO is seeing what it can do and is looking at other options, whatever that means. Anyhow, I am hoping that they could move the event to a much bigger venue to accommodate everyone, especially those who have already booked a trip to Atlanta and a hotel reservation like me. So I have been scrutinizing the social media of all 93 contestants and I have to say that I've never seen so many strong, beautiful and competitive girls in the many years that I've followed Miss Universe. Even though last year was very competitive, most of the semi-finalists came from countries that usually send strong representatives or have the sash factor if you want to call it. This year, I expect to see at least eight non-sash factor countries to place in the top 20, or perhaps even win. So I selected five countries for each geographical area, the Americas, Europe, Asia, Africa, plus five extra countries as my wild cards. I'm not a big fan of the continental format because it leaves out so many other beautiful contestants from the same continent, like the Americas. What if all the delegates from a particular continent are butt ugly? Do they still get in? Think about it. Anyway, here are my top 20 pre-arrival favorites with information that I took from the Miss Universe website and from the contestants' social media. Let's start with Europe. First stop, Slovakia, Laura Longaverova. Laura is a 24-year-old student of finances and accounting and speaks English, Czech, and Slovak. Laura is passionate about beauty pageants and considers them to be her true path in life. I love Laura's modelesque features, especially her high cheekbones, which are to die for. And look at that fit, sexy body that could put Ashley Graham to shame. Spain, Natalie Ortega. The first time I saw this girl's coronation photo, I said to myself, well, she don't look Spanish. But after reading her bio that says she's half Norwegian, I said, um, okay, that explains why she looks Scandinavian. Scandinavian or not, this 19-year-old model is a total head-turner who enjoys volunteering at homeless shelters and handing out food to the less fortunate in Barcelona, her hometown. France, Maeva Cook. Maeva was actually crowned Miss France 2018 and represented France at Miss World 2018, where she placed in the top 12. This 25-year-old redhead French beauty has a degree in international trade and is passionate about music, movies, extreme sports, and Formula One. She is a member of the Association Les Bonnes Fées, or Association of Good Fairies, a group consisting of 17 former Miss France winners who support facilities that care for the poor and underprivileged people in France. Great Britain, Emma Jenkins. Emma is a 27-year-old stunner from Wales, is serving a classic Hollywood glam look with cinematic face and beautifully tanned skin. Although I would love to see her put a fake beauty mark on her upper or lower lip or on the side of her chin to enhance her already sexy mouth. The former Miss Wales is passionate about her humanitarian works of which she never runs out. She works alongside the A Sisterhood organization, a group that empowers women worldwide by supporting charities such as Stop Acid Attacks in India and Female Genital Mutilation in London. Albania. The last time Albania placed in Miss Universe was back in 2010 when Angela Martini made the top 10. This year, Albania is back in the game with a stunning glamazon named Cindy Marina. This 21-year-old living Barbie doll is a student at the University of Southern California studying international relations and global business. She played volleyball in college and is currently a member of the Albanian women's national volleyball team, which she led to its highest finish in history at the European League Finals. She My alternates for Europe are Czech Republic, Ukraine, Iceland, and Ireland. Now, let's head on to the Americas, starting with 
Brazil, Julia Horta. This 25-year-old Brazilian model has a journalism degree and currently works as a speaker and digital influencer and created a project that seeks to share knowledge about oration, meditation, feminism, self-awareness, and empowerment through social media and lectures. Julia represented Brazil in Miss Tourism International 2017, where she placed fourth runner-up. I love her short and sassy hairstyle. Mexico, Sofia Aragon. This 25-year-old senorita from Guadalajara is a writer who committed her life to helping others who suffer from depression. She is passionate about the importance of mental and emotional health, and she wants to continue raising her voice and keep communicating the message of self-love and value. This year, Chile is back in the game with a stunning representative, Geraldine Gonzalez. This 20-year-old volunteer firefighter is also a lawyer who focuses on helping immigrants navigate the legal processes of becoming a citizen. She has a charitable program called Head of Household, whose mission is to help immigrant women start their own businesses. Viva Chile! Puerto Rico, Madison Anderson. This 24-year-old public relations and marketing student won her national title with a little bit of controversy attached to it. Her critics say that she's not a true Puerto Rican because she was born and raised in Florida and that she doesn't speak Spanish very well. Madison proved her critics wrong by stating that she is Puerto Rican at heart and soul. A patch USA, Chesley Christ. Chesley was not my favorite Miss USA 2019, but as time went by and after having seen her do interviews, she eventually grew on me. Chesley is a full-time attorney licensed to practice law in two states. She is passionate about dress for success and is an impact ambassador for the organization. Her greatest asset is her outstanding oratory skill and I can see her blowing away her competition with her intelligence and eloquence. My alternates for the Americas are Barbados, Argentina, Dominican Republic, and Haiti. I need a drink before I can continue. Mm. And now, let's head on to Asia and Africa. Philippines, Gazini Ganados, this 23-year-old Filipina beauty from the island of Cebu is a graduate of healthcare services and tourism management. She works with several organizations that cater to the needs of elderly care. I have been following Gazina's journey from the moment she won her national pageant, and I have to say that she has developed a magnetic social media presence and huge following. Although I would love to see more of her personality and more improvement in her communication skills, she may feel a lot of pressure from achieving a back-to-back -back victory for the Philippines, but I am sure that she has received invaluable tips from her compatriot, the current Miss Universe, Katrina Gray, that may very well help her attain her country's fifth Miss Universe crown. Indonesia, Frederica Kahl. This 20-year-old Indonesian-Australian beauty won her national title back in March, which gave her more than enough time to prepare for the Miss Universe competition. Frederica hopes to be the first Muslim Miss Universe. I love her sense of style, her confidence, and her advocacy. She is a dog lover who has saved over 100 dogs from the dog trade in Indonesia, along with her mother. Indonesia has placed in the semifinals five times in the last six years, and Frederica hopes to break this pattern by ferociously fighting for a top five spot and even win. South Africa, Zozibini Tunzi. This 26-year-old is a passionate activist engaged in the fight against gender-based violence. She advocates the hashtag He for She initiative, which calls for men to take a stand. She is a proud advocate for natural beauty and encourages women to love themselves the way they are. India, Vartika Singh. This stunning 26-year-old Indian beauty was appointed as her country's representative just less than two months ago. Vartika had competed in Miss Grand International 2015, where she placed second runner-up. She has a master's degree in public health and has worked as a technical advisor in quality assurance for the World Bank. Vartika is absolutely one of the most beautiful Indian representatives sent to Miss Universe. She looks like an exquisite Indian princess in her photos. Thailand, Pawinsuda Druin. 
When Peninsula, or Fasai, her nickname, was crowned last June as Thailand's representative to Miss Universe, the crowd went wild, as she has always been considered as the top favorite for the crown. This 26-year-old Canadian-Chinese Thai has been compared to the current Miss Universe Catriona Gray. Some fans even believe that Peninsula copied Catriona's look and styling. I say, so what? After all, imitation is the best form of flattery, right? Nevertheless, Fasai is her own person, and I can't wait to see more of her in Atlanta. I'm sure she will surprise us all with an original performance and possibly win Thailand's third Miss Universe crown. My alternates for Asia, Africa are Australia, Japan, China, and Tanzania. And now, my five wild cards, starting with Vietnam, Huang Thuy. Here's an interesting bit about Huang. She grew up in a small village where women did not have a voice, but was born into a poor family of strong women who encouraged her to stand up for what she believed in. Good for her. When she was young, she used to sell rice cakes on coach buses to assist her family. Huang began her modeling career in 2011 after winning Cycle 2 of Vietnam's Next Top Model. She competed in Top Model of the World 2012, where she placed in the top 15 and also won the Best Catwalk Award. She Peru, Kellen Rivera. This 26-year-old Peruvian beauty has a college degree in business administration. Kellen began modeling as a teenager. A pageant veteran, Kellen competed in Miss Peru twice and in both times ended up a second runner-up in 2013 and in 2017. In 2016, she was crowned World Miss University in China. She was recently named by the Peruvian government as an ambassador for Viku, a type of wool produced in local communities to boost their economy and promote sustainability. As a spoke Bangladesh. Shirin Akhtar Shila makes history as the first ever woman to represent Bangladesh at Miss Universe. This 20-year-old beauty is a college student pursuing a degree in physics. She also works as a fashion model who aspires to be a philanthropist and media persona. She's also a pageant veteran, having competed in Miss World Bangladesh 2019, where she made the top 10, and in Face of Bangladesh 2019, where she won the Best Female Model Award. Panama, Mer Eliezer. When Mer was crowned Miss Universe Panama last June, many Panamanians were not happy with her because they think she is not a true Panamanian. Mer was born in India of Indian parents but was raised in the Philippines for a few years and then in Panama, where she and her family eventually settled. She speaks English, Spanish, and Hindi. She's an advocate for the fight against HIV and AIDS, for gender equality, and she has been a strong ally of the LGBTQ community since her early teenage years. And last but not least, Singapore, Mohana Prabha Selvam, or Mohana for short, she is a 24-year-old ethnic Indian minority in Singapore who strongly advocates for equality and inclusivity. In 2010, she was part of a youth mission to India, which built a common space for the villagers in the countryside. Mohana has a biomedical science degree and aspires to work towards promoting sustainable food and businesses to improve the lives of people and communities. As a full-time model and spokesperson, she empowers and inspires her community to embrace self-confidence and be proud of their heritage and backgrounds. And there you have it, my top 20 pre-arrival favorites for Miss Universe 2019. This list is subject to change, as it is possible that some girls on the list could actually underwhelm me when I see them in person, and that others whom I have disregarded could actually impress me when I see them. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and hit the bell button below to get instant notification for the next video. Until then, bye.